Good morning, YouTubers. You have reached the Brian Sledge channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye. Welcome to Headline News 24-7. Please click like, and subscribe. Joy and Whoopi scream let the murders begin, Rush Limbaugh gives them brutal surprise. Joy Behar and Whoopi Goldberg are out of control with hatred toward conservative Americans. Behar and Goldberg were calling for violence as they lied about President Donald Trump and the so-called border crisis. Making matters worse, they are signaling nutjobs to attack Trump supporters. Behar screamed, let the murders begin, a reference to Nazi Germany. Well, Rush Limbaugh had heard enough and shocked them with a brutal surprise. We usually find the view rather amusing, but yesterday's show was downright frightening. The manufactured border crisis which the leftist media concocted out of whole cloth is now turning violent, and anyone on the side of truth is a target. Let's review what is fact and what is fiction when it comes to the border crisis. President Trump inherited the situation from Barack Obama. McClatchy reports, President Barack Obama separated parents from their children at the border. Obama prosecuted mothers for coming to the United States illegally. He fast-tracked deportations. And yes, he housed unaccompanied children in tent cities. These are just facts, not opinions. But when you have Time magazine issuing a cover which shows a little illegal kid crying at the feet of President Trump, and then we find out that little kid was never taken away from their mother, you have to ask yourself who is being dishonest? Who is playing games pushing a false narrative? So the Time magazine cover and hours of TV coverage of this girl was fake news. Father says little Honduran girl on Time cover was not taken from mother, reported Reuters. Enter the shrews on The View. Whoopi Goldberg started out the lie fest by claiming Barack Obama never separated families at the border, and President Trump created the policy out of thin air. Goldberg said, so, Obama sent back so many people, they called him the deporter-in-chief. He did not separate families. So, this did not have to happen, families being separated. He, Trump, didn't have to touch this because they had a way, they said you're here and now we are sending you back. So it's not the Democrats. This is a choice he, Trump, made that backfired. So he, Trump, wants to saddle us with this zillion-dollar wall. Whoopi lied, implying there was a system in place already which quickly deported people without detaining or separating them. She lies saying Trump cruelly decided to separate the families in some type of Hitlerian order, and it backfired. She implies he is using the kids as hostages to get funding for the wall. How in the hell can Goldberg blatantly lie like that? Meghan McCain sits there and is siding with the rest of the shrews. Where are the ABC fact-checkers? The view used to be ridiculous to watch as the shrews spewed leftist opinions, now it's downright dangerous. Then we have Joy Behar, and she takes it up a notch. The left is now inciting violence, and Big Mouth Behar does her best to prime the pump so unhinged nutjobs will start attacking patriots. Trump tweeted, Democrats are the problem. They don't care about crime and want illegal immigrants, no matter how bad they may be to pour into and infest our country, like MS-13. They can't win on their terrible policies, so they view them as potential voters. Trump is truth-telling, here. The president has bent over backward proposing immigration bills including giving residency to the 1.8 million DACA illegals, and the Democrats turned it down, twice. It's not something they ever intended to solve. They need the fake crisis ongoing hoping it will sway the midterm elections. But Joyless is on a mission, and she zeroes in on the word infest instead of zeroing in on the Democrats' refusal to help those illegals. Now, the word infest, I think, is a buzzword, Behar said. The Nazis used it against the Jews, they said vermin. In the Vietnam War, they were calling the North Vietnamese the gooks. This is a way to dehumanize human beings. Behar's on a roll, and she screams, once you start calling people names about that they're insects, vermin, that they're lower than humans, then the murders can begin, she added. I'm not saying that's happening. I'm not saying that's happening. I'm looking at history. I want people to notice the rhetoric." Rush Limbaugh who watched Behar and Goldberg gave them a brutal surprise, explaining their motives. Okay, folks, I'm just gonna say it here. If the media keeps this up, if they keep up generating this hysteria, somebody's gonna get killed. I think we're pretty close to somebody getting killed already, and I'm not being hyperbolic, and I'm not trying to call attention to myself," said Limbaugh. He continues, I'm genuinely worried about the out-of-control aspect of this. The news media is fanning the flames. The news media is leading the way on this. It's again an oxymoron. News media? There is no media, and none of this is news. 
Consider what happened to DHS Secretary Kirsten Nielsen a few days ago as she was attacked by leftist thugs as she ate her dinner at a Washington, D.C. restaurant. Thank God she had Secret Service agents there to protect her. The vitriol and hate coming from the left over a fake crisis are reaching levels where someone is going to get killed. Patriotic Americans who support President Trump are the heart and soul of this great nation. We will not be intimidated by liars, or by violence. Our great nation is at stake. The more they lie and ratchet up hate, the more we will stand in the truth. Those leftist snowflakes are picking a fight with the wrong American patriots. They won't know what hit them. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.